But first, with sprawling buildings, but a dwindling number of students, this could be the final year for two high schools on Cleveland's east side. And as we take a look here on the map, in the red, we have here Martin Luther King High School, and we also have here in the red, we have Collinwood High Schools. Now, under this new CMSD plan, what would happen is these two schools would close and then they would merge what you see here in the yellow, Glenville High School. Now, some people are concerned about the future of the historic buildings. A look at what the present holds for schools that have already closed. To break this down even more for us, let's go live to News 5's Jordan Vandenberg. He's on, the East, he's on East 55th right now with more. You know, not long after Wilson Junior High School blew out the candles on 100 years, it turned out the lights forever and it has been closed for about 14 years. And in that time since, this is what it has become. It is empty, abandoned and crumbling in some fear that Glenville and M I'm sorry, Collinwood and MLK may share the same fate. The 1600 block of East 55th is in a place of purgatory. This is Wilson Middle School. Caught in the middle, stuck in the space between then and now. Rayshon Green passed middle school decades ago. That was one of my rooms there at the top. And still passes it every single day. We had our basketball area out here, it used to be. Uh, had uh, swing sets and things right there. Everything's gone now. Closed in 2005, put on a demolition plan in 2010, Wilson Junior High is still slowly dying in 2019. I'm broken hearted to see the school go. The glassless windows are dark and hollow, and the signature yellow brick scarred by spray paint. A lot of memory to the school. A lot of my family went to the school, you know. It would be a travesty to see Collinwood High School follow the same course, says Councilman Kevin Conwell. That blight is, is not good. Eric needs to sit down, sit down and talk with the residents to find out what they want or, and what they need and how to uh, multiply whatever buildings and to protect it so they won't, so that blight won't, uh, won't, won't contribute to any crime or anything like that. With dwindling enrollments, CMSD leaders have proposed integrating Glenville and MLK with Collinwood High. While he would prefer that the district maintain the status quo, Conwell says if integration is inevitable, future plans for the students and the historic buildings must be concrete. The buildings is not as, as important as the children and the safety of our, for our children. And that's what I'm fighting for. You, we have to have safe routes. We gotta make sure that these children work together for the good of the whole. You know, the reality is that we live through our children. The impact on the neighborhood cannot be understated either. Yes, it takes a lot away. It takes a lot away, man. But for Green's beloved Wilson Junior High, being caught in the middle is no place to be. It's sad, though, to see it go. And we have reached out to CMSD as to the future of Wilson Junior High School, but we have not heard back. And there is a community meeting going on right now on the proposed integration plan for all three of those high schools. It started at 5 o'clock at Glenville High School. Reporting live in Cleveland tonight, Jordan Vandenberg, News 5.